I am so excited because the Step the Out Step TV, Out shows TV shows are back live on T2I TV. And for those who don't know, Step Out is a series of interviews and motivational segments designed to bring the best out of you and your business. Therefore, we have the following TV programs. Our first TV program, which is our flagship program, dubbed Step Out Step with out Oscar, with Oscar Bimpong, Bimpong, is designed to interview consultants, experts, talented people, and those doing exceptionally well in their communities. The second one is Step is Out Step SME, out, SME, SME Focus. 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 This is where we interview business owners and showcase their products and services. The third one is Step is Out step Youth, out impact, youth zone. impact Zone. This is where we interview young people succeeding against all odds to serve as an inspiration to other young people. And the last one is Step Out Authors, authors Corner. Corner. And this is where we interview authors to share what their book is about to the world. Join us every week. Like T2I TV on Facebook and subscribe to the YouTube channel. To advertise or for further information, do WhatsApp plus 44759-1152983 or plus 233-5580-3924 or email info at traintoinspire.com. T2I TV. We engage, educate, enlighten, and empower. empower. Welcome to another exciting edition of the Step Out Test Corner. And this is your regular host, Oscar Bimpo always in the driving seat, taking you to your destination of success. Tonight is the Step Out Autist Corner. This is where we interview authors for them to share what your book is all about. And tonight will be another powerful session where we have got who I will say a young man who has written a very powerful book and is going to share with us what the book is all about. Now, before I go to him, I would like to really mention a few of our sponsors for this program. This program is sponsored by Train to Inspire Consultancy. That is your business training and consulting firm. That is for all your business training needs, contact Train to Inspire Consultancy. They also work with schools, colleges, and universities in relation to the personal development of students. Also, ALS Global Shipping and Logistics your trusted import and export company based in Accra. ALS says if you are stranded at the port, call them and they will sort you out. Then, ZP Ghana Limited, your remittance and mobile money company based in Ghana. They just launched their ZP Mobile Money USSD code, which is star 270 hash. Just dial it on your phone and register for ZP Mobile Money. The wheels for sure, your car lays in for every credit. Who's for sure says it doesn't matter your credit history. You can call them and you are going to drive out of the garage with a car of your choice. When you call Wheels for sure, quote T2I 2020, and you are going to get a very good deal. Now, if you want to contact any of our sponsors, the numbers are scrolling on the screen. That's their contact details. Contact them and they are going to really sort you out. You know, the best is the, is the only the best that works with T2I TV UK. Then also, if you want to sponsor any of our shows, you are more than happy to do so. Just take the number for T2I TV UK and or train to inspire consultancy and contact us and we are going to work with you. As the business training and consulting firm, we are going to give you a very good package where we are also going to support you to help your business to strategically position itself in a marketplace. Also, if you want to support what we are doing, if you want to say, Oscar, you are doing a very good job, 
but I want to support you. Support in terms of ideas, support in terms of resources, support in terms of finance. You are more than happy to do so because we want to bring the program as we want to make this um, um, online platform a hub, an educational hub for the people on the continent of Africa and also on the continent of Africa and also um, those in the diaspora. So just help us to really grow this platform. And if you are watching me for the first time or you are just joining us, I will encourage you to share for somebody to have an opportunity to watch this program. Now, who do I have on the host seat? My guest is a lecturer at the University of New Cal London, and he is in the person of John A.J. Please welcome to the Step Out Artist Corner, and you are live on T2I TV UK. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you so much for having me on your program. Amazing. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, your um, passion, Oscar, and your dedication to your shows and how it's benefiting people is just highly commendable. And I'm Thank so pleased to be part of, to have, you know, to be on the show tonight. So I'm looking forward to, you know, the excitement and the benefit that people will derive from our discussions today. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you very much for your kind words. And I believe you've had a very good day as well. Sure. Wow. Now, it's been a really amazing journey. It's been a long time since we planned to really do this interview. And at long last, we are here. Awesome. Yes. Now, our topic for discussion is based on your book titled Parenting Your Best. And that is the 21st century parenting. What everybody needs to know when it comes to parenting. Now, before I go on, who is John A.J. in your own words? <laughs> John A.J. is you know, um, an author of Parenting Your Best. Um, I, I am a dad of three children. Um, and in my own... Um, career, I would say, I do teach economics in higher education in the UK. I've been doing this for the past 10 years. Okay. And but what we're going to focus on today is my first book, Parenting Your Best, the book that has been helping parents, you know, bringing harmony in the family and helping parents to bring the best in their children. So I'm very excited about it, to talk about the ideas in the book. Wow. So why did you decide to be an author? Because it's not everybody that wakes up and say, I want to be an author because writing a book is a difficult task. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> you, you know, um, <laughs> you, I like the way you phrase the question. <laughs> How did you decide? It's all about a decision. Mm. I made the decision because I've got something important to communicate. I've got something important to share. And a book is one of the best ways to you know, express your thoughts and to share your ideas with a wide range of audience. Okay. Mm -hmm. A book will outlive you, it will outlive me. Okay. It will go places I can never, never you know, be there. And I can be in different locations at the same time okay, with, book, with a book. Okay. My book, I have had amazing feedback from as far as India, I was shocked when I was contacted about the impact some parents have had, you know, in the Far East, India. So, and, you know, it, it, I made the decision to write mm. because I was inspired by, you know, a very painful circumstance that maybe I will have time to share a little bit of it. Yeah. But what I will say at this moment to encourage everyone on the platform, there is a book in every person, at least one book in every person. And wow. as the question was phrased, it's all about a decision. Make a wow. decision because yeah. you will leave a legacy that will outlive you, that will go places you cannot go. 
that will benefit a lot of people and it will be a good legacy to have. Yeah. Everyone has got a book in them. And I think you are right because everybody has got a story, isn't it? Absolutely. You got a spot on. <laughs> Experiences, you know, unique exposures, solutions you've had that is unique to you. And there are so many things that you can share. And everyone's is unique and therefore it needs sharing. Wow, 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 wow. I, I'm just beginning to emphasize that we are going to have a very good discussion. But, 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 but I, I want to know this. Why parenting and not any other topic? Because you were a lecturer in economics and you decided to write a book on parenting. I was thinking you were going to write a book on economics or something to be related to our GDP and how our economy is struggling, especially in Africa and Ghana. Why parenting? I can see you are a student of economics or so I listen to business. <laughs> it's, a, it's paradoxical, you know, it's a paradox. My students are puzzled, you know, why I'm not writing and dedicating more time to economics, uh, exploration mm -hmm. and going into, you know, parenting. Uh, I think parenting, if not the best, is one of the best and the, one of the most important or useful topics in our day to day. And for me, to have the opportunity to positively impact or influence at least one family or one child is something that I cannot put a price on. It's invaluable to me. Because if, you are, if I'm able to successfully um, uh, impact one child, one family, okay, it will not just stay in the family and, uh, in, and give harmony and make the atmosphere loving and calmer and easier and happier. It will ripple out to the community, to our towns, to our cities, and to our country, and at large, eventually, to the, making the whole world a better place for all of us. So it is something golden. It is something you know invaluable. And I'm so pleased to be part of it. And even if I use my economics, Okay, we've got uh, economics is about the study of our scarce resources. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the resources of any country or any community or any family, the most important one is people. Wow. So to have an opportunity to be adding value to people in some way, some shape or form is amazingly incredible. And I'm wow. so privileged to be part of this you know, topic, parenting. Wow. Now, what was your target market when you were writing this book? Was it for Africans? Was it for everyone? I aimed for everyone. That was, you know, I cast my net wide. <laughs> I aimed for everyone. I am um, um, by no means am I, okay, um, limiting myself to only Africans. Um, the principles and the strategies and the techniques that are in my book are applicable to everyone who is willing okay and looking for ways to improve their parenting and to achieve a better result for themselves and also for their children but i can see it may reason my story may resonate more with the african community and maybe those in the diaspora so mm -hmm. A way I would say it is for the mass market for everyone. Everyone has got something in, in it. Okay. Because uh, the reason why I ask that is that uh, um, parenting from the African context is different from parenting from the Asian context and also probably from the European context. So there is a big difference, but generally, it's, it's, the standards should be the same, isn't it? You are right. The differences stem from differences in our culture or cultures. Okay, we've got unique cultural backgrounds, and therefore we bring those ones on board to influence our parenting uh, pursuits. So that will be where the differences may show or emerge. But the fundamental principles of loving your children and treating them as human beings, and then using uh, strategies to bring the best out of them, they are general principles. 
And regardless of whether you are from Asia, you are black, you are white, okay, if you follow them, okay, if you practice them, you get the results thereof. Now, is there a story behind you making the decision to write this book? What is the story behind it? What really caused you? What really prompted you? What really pushed you for you to solve this kind of problem? Because parenting is a worldwide challenge and nobody teaches you how to be a parent. <laughs> Everybody just moves through life and they become a parent. And we, there is no, there is no school that you have to go to for you to become a parent. <laughs> so what is the story behind that caused you to really make that decision that, look, I'm going to solve this problem of parenting? It is a painful story. It's a painful episode. Like all of us, you know, once we started off with our children, we picked them up as babies. It was happy ever after. Until when they started, uh, they began to grow two years, and then where we started experiencing no as a response to you know in our interaction with uh, interactions with them, and it went on. It was so far okay, okay, rosy, happy, excited, satisfied children, happy children, happy parents, until um, something happened. And what happened was that in my attempt to discipline them, I used an object which was against the law in the United Kingdom. So I formulated this, okay, as chapter one in my book. So it, it, it the way it ends you, the way it happened, okay, it was so drastic, it was so dramatic. Okay, I had a social worker in my house and the police was involved and it got to a stage where i will imagine yourself okay you you are living with your children and one day you have a social service worker okay um, they call the police on you and sort of ask them to come and kick you out of your house and threatening to take all your children away yeah. it was at that bewilderment Okay, I found myself that moment of despair, that moment of uncertainty, and the things that ends, the things that followed. Okay, I will not have time to share all of them, mm. but when I look back today, okay, of what happened and how we were, we managed to sail through, to manage to you know come through successfully today. Um, it gives me mixed feelings, okay? On one hand, I have got some regrets, yeah? On the other hand, I am happy because of the things that I learned and, you know, the lessons that I picked up. And it was a defining moment for me, and it has changed the way I see parenting entirely. So if you don't mind, if, if you have time, maybe I will let uh, your audience pick up the story themselves in the book, but I will share a few of the lessons I learned. Mm -hmm. Can I go yeah. ahead? Yeah, go okay. ahead, go ahead, so that we get that one done and dusted, yeah. Okay, so I picked about three lessons. Okay. Mm. First, I realized that lack of knowledge is the root cause of all parenting problems. Mm. And lack of knowledge in the sense of uh, knowledge about the purpose of parenting, about the laws governing okay, parenting, what parents can do and cannot do in various jurisdictions, various countries, and then knowledge about the needs of children, particularly the emotional needs of children. Mm -hmm. Those ones. Okay, maybe I, I was lacking particularly about my interpretation of the law in the UK. That was what got me into trouble. But the moment I was looking for answers and I delved into parenting okay, deeply, I was able to uncover these things and I've realized they will be very, very useful for other parents. So I didn't want to keep to myself. So lack of knowledge. And my book has got the knowledge that you know will be useful 
to help you to stay clear and also get to know what you can do. Two more. The other one was um, uh, in every cloud, there is a silver lining. Mm -hmm. And I like the way you put it in, in your previous episode that in every misfortune, there is mm -hmm. a fortune. So yes. that, I can tell all parents who are experiencing problems. I know today parenting is difficult, it's challenging. And mm -hmm. coupled with the situation that we are grappling with, it makes it, it makes it doubly difficult and more challenging. Okay. But what I can tell you is there is hope. Mm -hmm. There is hope. Okay. One of my friends put it this way: that every setback is a setup for okay, a comeback. Mm -hmm. So that is mm -hmm. something that I also learned. And yeah. out of it has emerged, you know, the knowledge that I am sharing with you today. And lastly. Mm -hmm. I did draw on the ultimate success formula, okay, in the book written by uh, Jack Canfield. Mm. Okay. Uh, and the way I formulated it is this, if you, if you can never change anything until you take responsibility for what has happened to you. Mm. And he mm. formulated this with a very, you know, um, uh, simple but profound mathematical equation, he phrased it this way, that events plus response equals outcome. Mm. E plus R, our response equals to outcome. Any outcome we want to have in our parenting journey, we have to choose our response okay, to events. Events may be what we don't quite have control over, what our children do, for example. Yeah, sometimes we don't have control over, particularly when the ten teens, where I am at the moment. Okay, uh, strange things. Okay, they come up with questions. Okay, and they do things difficult to understand the motivation behind. But what we choose as our response to what we've done will determine the outcome we get. This is not only applicable to parenting, but life in general in any relationship. So these are the three main. Okay. Uh, and of course, the book, yeah, this book I've written is my response to what ha mm. happened to me. Mm. So whatever is happening to you parents out there, you can choose your rep response. What mm. we tend to do is usually we react automatically, instinctively. Yeah. Yeah. But today, well, how, did authorities, how did the authorities get to know? Because I'm just wondering, like, if you discipline your child at home, how do they get to know? <laughs> uh, it was a, uh, you know, uh, it was a one-off use of an object. Let's say a cane to discipline yeah. my child, mm. and my and when that happened, okay, we will talk about discipline and punishment later on if you raise the up. But the way, mm. let me simply answer your question directly. Okay, you know, children, they go to school, they have got friends, so they were talking with their friends and you know, shared with one friend, and then the friend cascaded it, okay, right? Uh, shared it with the teacher, and then they go to the head teacher, and, and then the, the authorities and, you know, intervention was called. That mm. is how it happened. And you, you remember I mentioned one of the things I learned about lack of knowledge, knowledge mm. about the law, particularly the Africans in the diaspora here. In, the, in Western society. Okay, in the UK, we've got what we call uh, the UK Children's Act 2004, okay, section 58. It is illegal to smack your child. The only exception is if it amounts to what we call reasonable chastisement or reasonable punishment. Okay. And there is a gray area there, reasonable punishment. Okay, It means you can use your hand to spank them, but not above the neck. Mm. And it is a no, no, no for any object. Okay, mm. My interpretation of reasonable punishment is what led me into trouble. Mm. I felt mm. okay, short or I, I contravened that bit of it so yeah but yeah go on <laughs> so what i would recommend is you know uh, uh don't do it yeah, yeah don't do it and 
hopefully I will be able to recommend more effective ways. The, 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 if they the say reasonable, uh, for example, if an arm robber comes to your house, they say you have to use reasonable force. And and what is reasonable force if your adrenaline is all over the place and you are fighting back? <laughs> and I think these are some of the these are some of the difficult interpretations that we always face when yeah. it comes to law. But it's like there is we, you need to always find a way. I don't know how. But you are right. You yeah. are right. And even more countries are now just outlawing uh, that they are banning, you know, smacking all together. In the United Kingdom, Scotland was the first country last year, 2020, to ban smacking all together. So it will be treated exactly as an assault on an adult. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wales is in the line. Okay. And then very soon it will be England. So we have to be very, very careful. Now, when you look at, because um, you're talking about smacking, but when you look at 20, 20th century parenting and 21st century parenting, there is a very vast difference. Some of us, we were trained when we were very young, but when we grew up, we realized that it helped us and it helped to shape us. We turned out right. <laughs> yes, but now it's, it's a no-go area. Now, what do you think is, is it the best that you are always using ways to really correct your children do you think is the best good question <laughs> okay and things that people it might be on the minds of many many people okay i will they probably wouldn't use the word best but i will use there are there are more if it is proven by the uh, research literature that it is counterproductive because punishment has got the intent to hurt. Yeah. And it can hurt your child, uh, not only physically, but also psychologically. And the trauma can live with them for the rest of their lives. And it erodes love and connection between your, you and your children. The only benefit is immediate compliance, particularly if your children are very, very young under two, under three. Okay. So the research is very clear. Okay. And I wasn't knowledgeable about this. Rather, what I would recommend is go for discipline. And there is a vast difference. Discipline has got you know, developmental um, um, aim. You want to help the child develop. You want to help the child to become better. Okay, and to inculcate values into the child. So uh, you can use discipline rather than punishment. And discipline will be, you know, the obvious one will be to let the child face, you know, consequences of their action. So, so what, what's a typical example of a discipline? Discipline, uh, one example will be, okay, your child um, has, said something very bad, maybe has insulted someone, you can say, okay, because of what you've done, okay, you will not be able to use your phone tonight. That's the consequence. And you know, today's children and their phones, <laughs> okay, you know, it's very important to them. It doesn't have to be, okay, a phone. It can be any other privilege mm -hmm. that you can reduce. They will learn an awful lot from that, okay? than if you smack them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It could be as simple as you're not going to have your uh, best weekend meal. Mm -hmm. You will have some, an alternative, but not your, the best one, your, your first choice. Mm -hmm. That is a consequence. And the yeah. other thing about consequences, I would rather um, advocate that we let our children know the consequence beforehand. So the first time you can choose to forgive them and then give them the warning that if it happens again, okay, what is going to happen? So they are clear right from the outset. So it will be fair to them and it will probably be proportionate and reasonable. Wow, that, that sounds interesting, and I, I think it, it makes sense. It but, makes do you sense. Think, but do you think it's as easy as, as being said, 
that parents sometimes children do certain things and sometimes before you realize out of nowhere you can act in a different manner do you think parents consciously have trained themselves to really operate in this manner you are talking about <laughs> spot on you know the 21st century parenting you know we've got the pressure of technology modern technology yeah. in spite of the benefits that it's made life easier and it's made us more productive the pressure to respond is coming at us 24 7. it's almost impossible to switch off okay so it makes us stressed <laughs> over schedule over work and if you come if you add the fact that we have to juggle okay you have to juggle work with parenting and mm -hmm. other things okay in the olden days it was just the income of one uh, uh member of the family it was enough to cater for the entire family mm -hmm. today it's not likely to be the case parents will have to work sometimes they have to take more than one job particularly mm -hmm. in the united states of america Okay. So we come home already tired, so we've exhausted all our energy. So every little thing, every little press of our button, we haven't got any more energy to handle it, you know, in a more uh, uh, reasonable way. So it's very, very challenging. And what I will suggest is one of the strategies in my book, okay, that you have to look after yourself first mm. as a parent. Mm. Take time to look after yourself first, because if you don't do that, you, you can't give what you don't know, you don't have. Mm. You should be able to take some time to rest, okay? Take some time to pause to reflect and take conscious action. Without that, we will end up acting in, in instinctively on impulses rather than choosing our response as I gave the equation. And for most parents, that has been the case, okay? We tend to just parent as we were parented, if there is a word like that. Mm -hmm. So we bring into this modern day, okay, uh, treatment of our children the way we saw it done maybe many many years ago and maybe in another country so now that we know there are better ways more effective ways maybe we can learn and it's all about knowledge every problem in parenting is lack of knowledge and today you know we are sharing some of the knowledge yeah what role does emotions play in parenting especially from the parents perspective Emotions in my book, I use the metaphor, uh, the fuel metaphor. Emotions, okay, uh, you know, it's what drives our behavior, our motivation, emotions. And for the child, okay, the child will want to, uh, you know, they want their feelings to be acknowledged. They want their emotions, they want to feel loved, okay, accepted. Okay. Parents also want the same thing, but mm. we, the way we go about it, we want ours to be satisfied first. Mm. But children are, you know, they are born 100% selfish, if you like. <laughs> they are born 100% selfish. So on, when we cannot get our emotions met first, if you are into parenting, it's almost impossible. We have to let our children okay, okay, be heard first and address their emotions. Once they've got the right emotions, they are able to function and then we also get our emotions met. Mm -hmm. It's just a fuel for a car. A car cannot function without fuel or the right fuel. So it is with children. They cannot function well without their emotions being met. So I've got emotional strategies or psychological strategies spread out in my book, about four of them. Yeah. Wow, wow. If you are watching us, we encourage you to share this and also like our page, that is T2I TV UK on Facebook. 
and also on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is a, this is a hub for education, and our target is the African continent and those in the diaspora. I always say this, that we have left our stories for others to really share on our behalf. It is time for us to share our own stories in our own words. Mr. J doesn't need to go wait for 50 years to go on CNN. But when we have our own platform where we can share our own stories, we'll be in a better position to solve our own problems. So please share this and let somebody have the opportunity to really watch us. Also, if you've got any questions, you can put it in the comment box and we are going to answer it. Now, there is a way that sometimes children, especially when they get to teenage age, it becomes very frustrating parenting them. So for example, when you look at your child, they start drinking, they start smoking, um they start going out all times and all that every parent becomes worried and sometimes the approach of parents sometimes even makes it worse now the question is what can you do to really bring them back on track <laughs> an excellent question and i like your comments before this question what you are doing is amazing you never know okay the extent to which uh, this is the benefit of this, okay? the value you are giving to people and bringing the world of useful education to people. So please keep on going. Okay? Thank you. I know you are consistent, okay? mm -hmm. determined person. So we are all behind you and I know it's going to go far. So Thank go you. Far. So we are now, you are now asking questions, yeah. you know, getting into the nuances in parenting. It's a, it's a difficult question. And the first strategy in my book is okay, separate the who from the do. Mm. Okay. The first fundamental uh, strategy in parenting, and I haven't seen this anywhere, I was inspired. What this means is separate the child's action as a person from their actions, mm. from what they do what they do may not okay, deserve our respect and we have to um, uh, correct them. Sometimes it will have to be condemned. Sometimes it will have to attract consequences. But who they are, there is something sacrosanct about that. Mm. Okay. And it's God's DNA in every child. Mm. Okay. This was inspired by the Bible. Mm. Okay. So again, if you want to have more success in parenting in the 21st, 21st century, I will highly okay, recommend to parents to take the Bible seriously. Wow. Don't take it as a religious book. Mm -hmm. okay. It depends on what you mean by religion or religious. But what I mean is read it for clues, for patterns, for lessons, for principles of how to live this life. If you approach it like that, you you know, you first of all, you know, if a manufacturer does anything, comes up with anything, the manufacturer will give a manual to go with it. Yeah. And if you follow the manual, okay, it will work. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, there is a warranty. The, you know, the uh, manufacturer promises to sort it out free of charge or give you a brand new one. When it comes to a human being, okay, the Bible is the manual for life. Mm. Okay, without the Bible, we don't know even who we are. We don't know what we can do. We don't, you know, uh, the, it is in the Bible that we find what we call phenomenological truth truth about how to live this life, the life experience, okay? Science does very well with objective truth. It describes things and it recommends, okay? It's like a drama and a stage. Science will describe the stage and how to decorate it, but it won't tell you the purpose for the stage. It will describe the human being, biology, anatomy, all the features, but it won't tell you the purpose for the human being. We find that from the Bible, particularly in the stories 
of the Bible okay, you see in the Bible. And this is personified by Jesus Christ in the Bible. If you follow him and his attitudes and his values and his principles, you won't go wrong. What it will do, the other thing I should say is, okay, so when you take the Bible seriously, it is just like you are just connecting with your source. Mm. If you don't take it very seriously, it's just like you, you know, you are declaring your independence from your source, from the creator. And it's just like a fish wanting to be free and jumping out of water. Mm. It will be very, very active. It could be very even more active than the ones in, in their source, connected with their source water. But how long? It's eventual death. It's the same thing, those who ignore relationship with the creator and taking the Bible seriously. Mm. So if you approach it like that, then you will see that the, the child has a purpose, regardless of their action. There is something fundamentally you know, good about them. There is a reason why the creator sent them here. And with that, anything they do, you are able to separate and deal with their actions, whether they are smoking, okay? And you will be at peace. You know that there is something, there is some, you know, good things inside of the child mm -hmm. that can draw them back to track. And that, you know, there's nothing that can destroy that. And I also add that, you know, once you have a relationship with God, you can pray and you know okay, things will be well. But if you need professional advice in, in cases of your child going into drugs, please seek professional advice. Okay. But yeah. I will not ignore that there is only emotions and feelings to people. Those are real. But we are not only a bunch of tissues. There is a spiritual aspect to every child, and that will have to be honored, that has to be nurtured, so that you bring up a child, not only developing their IQ or emotional intelligence, but in addition to a high level of IQ, high level of emotional intelligence, okay, the child will also have spiritual intelligence. With that, there is no problem that cannot be solved in the family. Yeah. There's no problem that parents can override. Wow. I want you to talk to me briefly. In your book, you describe what you called the psychology side of children. And I really found that bit of the book very interesting. Now, talk to me about that one very briefly. Yeah. Psychological side of children, I mean their feelings and their emotions. Mm. So the first strategy, psychological strategy I recommend is uh, strategy number four. It is let your child feel heard and listened to. That means acknowledge their feelings. Okay, if you address and meet their emo emotions and psychological needs, there is something inside of them that will generate okay, uh, answers by themselves. Mm -hmm. So let me give you a practical example. Your child comes to you and says, Dad, Mom, I feel like nobody likes me. Mm -hmm. And if that person is a teenager, then there might be a suicidal tendencies if the, that is not addressed properly. Might be serious. But what we do, parents, particularly when we are tired, is instinctively, oh, what are you saying? You must be joking. Do you mean everybody hates you? This is impossible. You see the emotion, the psychological side hasn't been acknowledged at all. They haven't been listened to. Okay. The best way is to have time and listen to them. Oh, acknowledge. Oh, is that how you feel? Tell me about it. Listen to them. And the moment they feel listened to, you can then ask them, so what are you going to do about it? The child, when they are listened to and their emotional needs are met, they are able to bring solutions themselves. They feel heard, they feel uh, valued, they feel respected. Usually we are quick to produce answers, to want to fix everything. 
when we do that, we are not addressing the psychological side and needs of our children. We want to feel listened to. Another strategy okay, is to empower your child by giving them the chance to choose. This is a solution to many, many problems in the family, mm. particularly my children, for example. If I want them to sleep at nine o'clock in the evening, okay, with the lockdown, it's almost, you know, you know, very, very, very difficult. So to go by this strategy, empower your child by giving them the chance to choose choice. I will ask them, uh, guys, do you want to sleep at nine, eight thirty, or nine o'clock? Mm. Okay, two options. 8.30 or 9 o'clock. And then when they choose, they all, because it is it, them, themselves, they came up by the, you know, the solution by the, themselves. It's not you instructing them. It's Almost often, okay, they, they turn out to comply. They do it without any ha hassle, without so cooperation. If you want cooperation with your children, if you don't know, if you don't want no, 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 and resistance, if you use that strategy, give them a choice. Mm. Okay? We are going out. Do you want us to leave by 10 minutes time or one hour's time? Okay. Right? We are going to shopping. Um, do you, uh, my budget is this. Okay. Do you want this item or this item? When they get involved and bring, you know, their views on board like that, they respect it, they cooperate with you, and we tend to have what we want. They have what they want, and we get things done. The, 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 there are two more. Okay, use the power of praise. This mm -hmm. one is powerful. Okay, mm -hmm. we, are, we are very quick to point out the wrong things our children are doing. Mm -hmm. We have to start praising them what they have done right. Even if the child has done 99% things wrong and only one thing right, start with the right thing they've done. Praise them for it. Mm. And that will motivate them, psychological motivation. Mm. So my children, for example, I had an email today from one of their teachers. Okay, your children are doing online studies. One of your ch children didn't turn up for one lesson. So I called my daughter and I, Access. Oh, well done. You attended all of your lessons. You see the praise. Mm -hmm. Most parents will just go, on, oh, why is it that you didn't attend? Why is it that I started by praising them of what they've done right? You attended all of your lessons. Well done. Except one. What happened? Tell me. And I was able to get the child. Okay. Mm -hmm. Child's cooperation. We got wow. talking. And then the child herself came up with ways to avoid that occurring again. Mm. The last one is teach them problem solving. You don't have time to go about that. But mm. the psychological strategies are there. They work. They are practical. It means you can do them. Mm. And they are effective. It means they work if you implement them. Wow. Wow. So I want us to give us, I think I'm briefly about to wrap up. When the, when the, when the conversation is good, time really runs very fast. It is about 10 minutes to the top of the hour. But uh, just tell us briefly, what are some of the best practices and tips for modern day parenting? Um, you know, strategies that I've given. Yeah. Yeah, some of them. At least you will find one that will work for you. I yeah. can't promise everything will work for you because you have got a unique circumstance. Okay. Mm. But at least one of them. If you pick my book, I've got seven strategies. Mm. Seven chapters, seven strategies. At least you will find one that will work for you. Mm. Okay. The other thing is don't punish discipline. Mm. There is a big, there is a vast difference. Okay. I, and I think I've said this, punishment, the intention is to hurt. And usually it's a reaction in anger. Mm. Discipline is when, okay, you can say, oh, I am very angry now of what I'm hearing, of what I'm seeing, what the child has done. Okay, so I'm not going to react. I'm going to have to think about it some more time. That gives you the breathing space. Mm. 
to think and reflect and to come up with something that will work, something that will be effective. Discipline. The discipline can be as simple as you're not going to have your phone tomorrow. Mm. Particularly if you involve the child, the last strategy, teach them problem solving. This is a problem. My daughter, I love you, but we cannot let this problem persist because mm. it's not good for you. It's going to end you up maybe in prison. And I don't want you, okay, I don't want that to happen for you. So what can we do? to make sure this doesn't happen again. So the child gets involved in generating options. And then together you can choose one of the options that will work for the child and for you, teaching your children problem solving. Okay? Yeah, but whatever, you, okay, go on. <laughs> whatever you do, make sure you, you come from the place of love for your child, discipline yeah. and not punishment. We were punished, oh. fortunately we turned out well, Okay, but today the landscape has changed significantly mm. and we need new techniques and new strategies. And my book is packed with you know, strategies that are effective, practical, that will help you out. Wow, it's been, it's been wonderful having you. I've enjoyed every bit of this discussion, but before we wrap up, I think I've got two comments here. If Fab Watanado says thanks for sharing your wonderful strategies, and Nita Samoa says awesome, bless you, brotherly, brother, very insightful. Now, if anybody wants to get a copy of your book, where can they find it? Where can they where can they go? Amazon. Okay, go to Amazon. The good news is if you've got Amazon Kindle Unlimited subscription, you can read it for free. Mm. All of my books. Okay. If you don't have it, just open an Amazon account and then do a one month subscription. Subscription, Kindle Unlimited subscription. It's free for one month. At the end of the month, just cancel it. And you can download my book that way for free, the Kindle version. If you want to buy, it's going for only $1.99, less than two pounds. Okay, yeah. the paperback is about $9.99, but it's a good investment. It's going to give you results, okay? that you look back and be grateful you did. Um, you can also um, uh, get it from my website, livingyourbest.co.uk is my website there. It's got the link to where you can get it. Okay, you can also just look it up, at Google, okay, the title of the book, Parenting Your Best, or my name, John A.J., and you have the links to all my books, okay, or to this book in particular. Mm. And I hope you take advantage of this all right so um if somebody also wants to contact you like look i need some advice i need support i need more um knowledge in terms of parenting where can they really get you directly facebook okay just facebook um, messaging mess messaging or messenger okay. oh, yeah. also on my website you got my email there okay or if you contact oscar Okay, Oscar yes. will be able to link you up to me. Wow, wow. Look, I've enjoyed every bit of it. This is very educative. And I think I, I, I just hope and pray if you are watching us and you are a parent, I want you to encourage for you to share this to every parent that you know, for them to have an understanding. Trust me, those of us in diaspora do know a lot of the law when it comes to parenting, including myself. I've learned a lot today. And I think I'm going to delve deep into this. I've already got the book, I've read the book, but I think there is a lot that we can also learn. So if you are watching us, I will encourage you to be selfish. Just really share this to a parent for them to really read, the, to, to listen to this program. Because trust me, sometimes ignorance has cost us so much that if we have known, we could have taken a very different path. And that is what I encourage each and every one of us um, to do. Also, like our page and subscribe to our YouTube channel and help us to really build this platform. Now, before I go, I want to just mention our sponsors, Train to Inspire Consultancy, that is your business training and consulting firm. And also, Train to Inspire works with uh, students in colleges, universities, and second cycle institutions in terms of their personal development, 
Also, ALS Global Shipping and Logistics, your trusted import and export company based in Accra. ALS says if you are stranded at the port, call them and they will sort you out. Then ZPay Ghana Limited, your remittance and mobile money company based in Ghana. They just launched their USSD code and that is star 270 hash. Just dial it on phone and register for ZP mobile money. Then wheels for sure. Your car leasing for every credit based in the United Kingdom. Wheels for sure says it doesn't matter your credit history. You can walk out of the garage with a car of your choice. Now, when you call wheels for sure, just quote T2I 2020 and you are going to get a very good deal. Now, if you want to, um, if, if you want to really um, speak to any of our sponsors, the contact details are scrolling on the screen. Take them and contact them. Also, if you want to sponsor this show or you want to support what we are doing, please take the number for T2I TV UK or Train to Inspire Consultancy, and we are going to talk to you. Now, Mr. John Ede. Please welcome to the Step Up Hotel's Corner, and we are very proud to have you on the show. Thank you so much. Now, Thank what you. what is your last word to everyone that is watching us? I must first of all congratulate you if you've come on board, if you are listening. Mm. Yeah, it means you are willing to want the best for your child. Mm. Yeah, so that is worth commending. Okay, it's worth praising. And I want to just leave you with some of the things parents are saying about my book. Okay, one parent said, okay, one of the biggest takeaway is the discussion on separating the child as a person from his or her behavior. My wife and I have already talked about it and put it into practice and we are having results. Another mm -hmm. person is saying, oh, your book is like, you know, all the stress has been taken off okay, from my home. Now the shouting has stopped. Okay. I want the best. I want the same thing for you. I know it is incredibly difficult this stage, okay? Compounded by the lockdown mm. okay? and then modern technology and the demands okay, by children in this, uh, this day and age. So mm. am I going to promise you that, you know, the book will solve all your parenting problems? Probably not. But what I can promise you is if you get my book and you follow the strategies consistently, okay, mm. you can expect to have a calmer, a happier, and an easier okay, family atmosphere where there will be love, that your children will flourish. And this will not stop only in your family. It will spill over and spread to the community and to our towns, to the whole country, okay? And it will make the world a better place for all of us. This is what drives me. This is why I write. So you will benefit and the world will be a better place for all of us. And I hope, okay, you will see this moment and you will seize it and take advantage of it. And when you look back, you'll be proud, okay? and be grateful you did. So I wish you all the best, and I hope you will meet again one day, where okay, I will congratulate you again. Thank you very much, and thanks for your time. We really also appreciate your time and the knowledge that you have shared with us. And before I go, I've got one last comment from Efua, Efua Boateng Ado, and says, I've really enjoyed and learned a lot, priceless. And I think you shared some information that I think is worth, is worth, worth our time, especially during this COVID-19, where emotions are all over the place. Stress and depression is, is really um, working um, uh, in, in our lives, and we need some of these tactics and strategies to help ease the tension in our homes. I've also got Dave Newton who says, this is from Abna, I really love this show. I'm very educational. I'm really glad I watched this today. God bless you. Yes, Abna, you can contact me if you are really educational to come on the show, okay? Just inbox me on Messenger. We, we, we are not here to interview celebrities. If we get celebrities, they will come and share knowledge. They will not come and talk about singing or just, you know, singing, talking about the singing music. We want to really bring people because there is a lot of people 
that are highly educated, they are experts, they are knowledgeable, they are doing well in our communities, but they don't even have platforms for them to share their knowledge. Because our system, especially in Africa, our media space is created for politics, entertainment, and sports. There are no platforms for us to share our knowledge. And that is the problem we have. And we want to change the narrative with this with TY TV UK. We want to train and inspire people for them to achieve their goals. And that is what this platform is all about. We want to be the go-to place where a young person will say, look, this is where I'm going to find ideas, knowledge to really build my vision. And it's all about personal development. So we cut across in every area of personal development in relation to building that vision. Because you can be very successful in life, but if there is no peace at your home, you still don't, you are not successful. So it's about time we work on our personal development. And this is very critical to our success in life. So it's been wonderful, wonderful, wonderful having you. I've enjoyed every bit of this. If you are watching this, I want to encourage you to share this for somebody to have the opportunity to watch it. On Saturday, I've got also an author who is coming to the show, but she's a, she's a blogger, a very seasoned blogger. And she is in the person of Vanessa Nozzi. She is going to talk to us about 21st century blogging. blogging. Now, when you look at Africa, the kind of blogging that we are doing, is it impacting the youth or is it is destroying them? And we are going to have an in-depth discussion on this. Trust me, blogging of insults does not impact a nation or build any, it does not build a, it's not anything for national development. It doesn't impact our minds. It doesn't help us in any way. But we are now building a society where we are building a culture where because insult sells, that is the only kind of blogging that we are doing. That is lifestyle and entertainment. And is that blogging? When it comes to Europe, we have got blogging in terms of medicine, blogging in terms of health, business, entrepreneurship, science and technology. In Africa, we are only doing lifestyle and entertainment. Can this narrative be changed? We are going to have an in-depth discussion. Join us on Saturday, 8 p.m. GMT. You can't afford to miss it. Marry this platform and you are going to get a very good life. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching us. We will see you on Saturday, 8 p.m. And thanks once again, Mr. Bajay, for your time, and we really appreciate you. Thank you for having me. All right. Thanks to everyone, and God richly bless you.
I am so excited because the Step the Out Step TV, Out shows TV shows are back live on T2I TV. And for those who don't know, Step Out is a series of interviews and motivational segments designed to bring the best out of you and your business. Therefore, we have the following TV programs. Our first TV program, which is our flagship program, dubbed Step Out Step with out Oscar, with Oscar Bimpong, Bimpong, is designed to interview consultants, experts, talented people, and those doing exceptionally well in their communities. The second one is Step is Out Step SME, out, SME, SME Focus. 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 This is where we interview business owners and showcase their products and services. The third one is Step is Out step Youth out Impact, Impact Zone. Zone. This is where we interview young people succeeding against all odds to serve as an inspiration to other young people. And the last one is Step Out Authors, Authors Corner. Corner. And this is where we interview authors to share what their book is about to the world. Join us every week. Like T2I TV on Facebook and subscribe to the YouTube channel. To advertise or for further information, do WhatsApp plus 447591152983 or plus 233-5580-3924 or email info at traintoinspire.com. T2I TV, we engage, educate, enlighten, and empower. empower.